Submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Now we can finally come to chapter 5, verse 22. Where it says wives were to submit to their husbands as to the Lord. And verse 25, where it says, Husbands, love your wives as Christ loved the church. Because this is not supposed to be wives submit to abuse. Wives submit to wickedness. Nor is it supposed to be husbands love wickedness. For us to have a good marriage, you first must have a good relationship with God. Marriage is hard anyway. Even if you have two people that have submitted themselves to God, they're still going to have personality differences. They're going to have different ways of thinking. Um, but if you take this and just say wives are supposed to submit to their husbands who have not submitted to God, you're asking them to submit to something that is twisted and broken. It becomes easier when you have a husband who speaks the truth you have a husband who controls his anger and forgives you have a husband who works hard and is generous you have a husband who builds up and encourages you you have a husband that speaks love. You have a husband who guards his marriage. That is a husband that is easy to submit to. In the same way, for, for husbands, are they to love a wife? Who's bathing in wickedness? Wives want to be loved and be accepted. Um, but a husband, it's hard for him to love lies. It's hard for him to love anger and laziness. It's hard for him to love a wife who pulls out a list of everything that's done wrong. But as we submit to God, it becomes easier. And we're not to do it alone. This is why we're submit one to another in community. This is why God has given us a church family. So when we have conflict and, and problems, we can come one to another. Sometimes we ask, well, why do wives submit to their husbands? 
because God did not intend for the home to be a battleground. Everyone wants to be in charge. But God desires us to have unity. And sometimes houses are divided. I know a family that is struggling in their marriage. When the wife wants to be in control and the husband wants to be in control. So the husband will tell his kids to do something. But if the kids don't like it, they go to the mom. That should never happen. The wife should send them back to the father. Otherwise, you have the children taking sides like two armies. God has given us a gift and making it clear how this should work. Can you, can you imagine when you get married and you had to decide who is going uh, to submit to the other one? <laughs> There would be a lot less marriages. Because they couldn't agree. But there's a default that brings unity. But God has balanced this because He gave a command to husbands. It's a pretty heavy one. Because he said, husbands are to love their wives as Christ loved the church. Christ died for us. He gave himself up for us. That's pretty heavy. Sometimes husbands be like, well, I would die for my wife. But I'm not doing anything else for her. <laughs> Some of us may think we might even, it's well, sorry. It might be easier for us to even say that for God that I would die and give up my life for my faith. But would I live for Christ every day? <laughs> It's a lot harder to live for God every day. We're going to kind of have that type of love we're willing to give over and over and over again. So, if I love my wife, I'm going to think about what's best for her. And I'm trying to make her happy as well. So in my marriage, which will look different than your marriage. There's very few times where I've asked my wife to submit to me. Uh, 99% of the time we make decisions together. Because I love her and I want her to agree with me and be happy. I can only think of four times where I've had to tell her no and submit to me. 
Aku pun kena kalau main kuota, kita kuota iya hukuba lah hambo faham tanah tahu macam. We've been married for 23 years. Selain na ha kundel ma tempat sepana. Because she's thinking of me and I'm thinking of her. Selah kemen papang pangmen macam sepana. And it's worth discussing. Selah na nai tinggal na rong hai kui kena tangkoi tamat mer. But when it comes down to it. I know that she will say, okay, I'll go with you and agree with you. Because I love her, I don't use that power and try to use it to make her do what I want. Now we only have three issues between me and her. Because four years ago, we couldn't agree, and I asked her to submit to me. But yesterday, I was talking to her, and I saw that this was still heavy on her. She had submitted. Oh, it, it's not submitting when you say, okay, but you're really angry about it. <laughs> Because remember, that there's no bitterness or unforgiveness. 